Yo, what's up guys? Um, today I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how to use Contact 5 or Contact 5 Player and play the instruments that you have in Contact 5 through GarageBand so that you can record them. Um, I usually don't do music videos as much as other things, but I found this topic just grossly uncovered. I mean, there's nothing on Google and I couldn't find anything on YouTube, so I thought I'd just make a quick little tutorial. So. This tutorial is more for beginners that are starting to use Contact and have been using GarageBand for a little bit. So this tutorial is going to have some very simple concepts and I'm trying to keep it simple because a lot of the videos are really complicated and I don't understand a lot of the audio things that these other pros do. So an answer to a burning question that I think a lot of people will have is, can I record Contact using GarageBand? Answer to that question. Yes, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So, first thing you want to do is go up to in GarageBand, create a new track, make it a software instrument, go down to here, you'll see the edit up here, click that, and you'll see sound generator right here. Go over to this pull down menu, and it'll be on piano right now. Go down to here. Contact 5, and you'll definitely want to have Contact 5 before you can do this. So you can download the free player on Native Instruments website, and then you're going to need either the factory selection, which is um, free too, or something else such as Action Strings, which I bought. So click on that. You'll see up here it'll come up Contact 5, and then you just click on that. It opens up Contact 5. I have Contact 5 player. You can load Action Strings, which is what I'm going to do. Load it up. You know, it'll come up right here. And basically, you control what the sound sounds like through this. So when I first did it, the expression was all the way down, and I wasn't sure if it was working correctly. So you want to go in here and edit all of your settings. So you have your expression, which is the kind of the how loud it is. And all this, and you can go down here and select your playback, go to these slots, add new slots. So um, all that good stuff, once you have that, you can go out. And I have musical typing on. Things like that. Such, such as that. So I recorded a little song here, and I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys. I use action strings in this song. This is on GarageBand. I have a couple of custom sounds that I have in here, but all these things are from GarageBand and Contact 5. So I hope you enjoy the song guys, and uh, thanks for watching.